Have you ever wondered what game developers get up to when they're not busy making games? Ah! Yep. In a massive AAA studio with several hundred creative people, you'll come across a melting pot of different interests and hobbies outside of job-related tasks. That's where Massive's over 60 clubs and communities comes in. These are independent and employee-driven hubs of creativity and community, and today I'm gonna join some of them. And so the first stop on my tour of clubs within Massive is the Crafting Club. And I'm joined here by Kim, who's going to tell me all about it. So what is the Crafting Club? It's a club at Massive where all people who craft uh, join and share updates and encourage each other in our different crafts. We have everything from woodwork, people making dices and dice trays, to clothes and knitting uh, clay. Yeah, basically any sort of like hand crafting. I mean, yeah. it's in the name of the crafting club. Exactly. That exists. And like, it's open to anybody that just wants, just wants to jump in and start crafting and yeah. getting advice, but is it only online? No, so a few times a year, we have bazaars at the office and there are different uh, crafters can sell their items to our colleagues. And we always donate uh, to different causes then. And the club is basically open to anybody. A anybody within Massive can join the channel, start showing off their stuff and ask for advice. Yeah. And so the next club that I'm joining, uh, I haven't actually gotten that much information on what we're doing. We started off by riding our bikes down to the coast. Uh, so Ali, what, what actually are we doing here today? Uh, it's gorgeous. Perfect Swedish weather. We're gonna, you know, take off all of these nice warm clothes, jump in that lovely water, um, curse a lot, not freeze, and get out. So, we're gonna go swimming in the ocean today. Yeah, yeah, that's so, the plan. So, so why? <laughs> um, I don't think we figured that one out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a good question. We'll ask you at the end. Yeah, well, you tell us. Let's see if I can find out the reason. Well, I guess there's no turning back now. Well, so I survived. You did. Uh, and so, the outdoor swimming club, how, how often do you go and take a dip? Once a week, depending on the weather. Okay. Yeah. Depending on the weather, so today is good enough weather. Yeah, today is perfect actually. <laughs> not too much wind and not too much uh, waves. Perfect. Okay. And uh, well, yeah, like I said, I survived, but uh, upon close inspection when I was going into the water, I, I think I need to get a little bit more uh, exercise. So I think next up, next up is the boxing club. I'm here with Mike, having difficulty breathing because I just finished a boxing workout. Uh, so tell me a little bit about the boxing club. How many times uh, a week do you meet up? So we have a, what we call a mixed martial arts inspired high intensity interval tra fitness training. Okay. Okay, so MMA for short. <laughs> it's martial arts inspired fitness. It's not... Uh, Full on boxing training. It's not. Uh, we don't do a lot of technique training. We don't do sparring anything like that. No, no body contact. But we do. We get our pulse up. We use fighting technique, MMA techniques, uh, punching, throwing bags, throwing each other, throwing everything, kettlebells, just to get our heart 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 rate up. Yeah, and it worked because mine is yeah. way up there yeah. and yeah like so once a week like every wednesday every wednesday at 12 i i'm hosting this this uh, mma training yeah. uh, and then uh, there are other classes that are similar no maybe that's uh, my next step although yeah. right now i don't really feel like it 
But yeah, I think that's enough physical exercise for me for a little bit. Let's check out a little bit more of a relaxing club. Yeah. And so the next club that I'm checking out is the Magic Club. And uh, I've always been fascinated by magic, so can't wait to learn some new tricks. Magic Club, right? Yes, yeah, we haven't. Uh... Yeah, I... Uh, Good club. I think I, I think I misunderstood what magic and the name Magic Club stood for. Yeah, yeah right now it's a, it's a dinner club because of course club activities tend to happen right after work. I also don't know anything about Magic the Gathering, so I'm, I'm still excited. So, Juan, um, I guess I kind of misunderstood what the Magic Club stands for. Uh, it seems like you were prepared for something else, yeah. yeah. So, so what exactly uh, are we doing here today? So today we are doing a draft. This is one of the latest Magic the Gathering sets, uh, the Brothers War. So we have eight players today. Every person has three, three booster packs like this. And we'll open one, start building our deck as we go. Take one card, pass it to the left, and keep building it. Second pack, we pass it to the right. Third pack, we pass it to the left. Then we make our deck, and then we get some nice playing against with each other, like three games. Oh, it's gonna, gonna be a fun evening, about four hours long. Yeah, so only four hours, because of course we're just doing it casually. It's, it's a very casual, <laughs> it's a very casual tournament. Okay, well, uh, let's start opening up some packs. So that's all I have for you today. Of course, with over 60 clubs here at Massive, there's not a chance that I can cover all of them in one vlog, but who knows, maybe in the future I'll revisit it, especially now with summer coming, all the outdoor clubs are gonna be kicking off. But yeah, remember, like and subscribe and stay tuned for more Life at Massive.